So pretty much out of nowhere earlier today, Mixer announced they're shutting down the entire website. And Mixer announced this whole thing in pretty much the most unprofessional way they possibly could have. I mean, it was practically a slap in the face to every single streamer on Mixer. It's a wild situation. And on top of that, this was really the best outcome that could have happened for Shroud and Ninja because now they're out of their Mixer contract scot-free with over $40 million in total. So if you're not really familiar with Mixer, it was basically made as a streaming platform platform that was supposed to compete with YouTube Live and Twitch. It was supposed to be one of the top dog streaming platforms for all these streamers to go to. Mixer was created by Microsoft and they were throwing all these different streamers money to come to their platform and this was obviously in hopes to pull viewers away from some of the top streaming platforms at the time to make Mixer a real contender. Which obviously if you couldn't tell by the fact that they just announced they're shutting down, it didn't really work out like that. It didn't really pan out how they expected I guess. Now earlier today the official Mixer Twitter account Account tweeted mixer partners streamers and community today we've got some very big news for you while we've decided to close the operations side of mixer we're officially partnered with at Facebook gaming and we're cordially inviting all of you to join I like how they word that tweet as if that's not like a horrible thing for anybody who's involved in mixer and streams on it I mean for any mixer streamer that's like hey here's a sudden announcement that your entire livelihood and career is gone but you can come over to stream on Facebook if you want as if like streaming on Facebook Facebook is just the opportunity of a lifetime that anybody's gonna jump at. Facebook gaming is just the holy grail of streaming platforms. I mean, how is Facebook gaming even a real thing? The target audience of Facebook and there being a gaming side of it just doesn't add up whatsoever. I mean, I'd say the target audience of Facebook is maybe people over the age of like 50. And then the target audience for people who watch gaming streams is pretty much people all under the age of maybe 25. So, so, so where's the connection here? Where, where does Facebook gaming come into play? And it seems like Mixer streamers weren't too happy about going to Facebook gaming either because after this whole announcement, if you pulled up Mixer, this was pretty much all of the top streams. It was just all the top streamers on Mixer visibly not very, you know, excited to go over to Facebook or obviously restart their whole career on Twitch or YouTube Live or whatever. Now, there is, I guess, one good side of this whole situation, which is the fact that Shroud and Ninja got in a, a, a ridiculous deal off of this whole thing. I mean, it just couldn't have ended up any better for them. They just they, they won. I, I mean, that's really the best way to put it. They won in this whole situation. Nobody got it any better than Shroud and Ninja here. They ran away with almost $50 million just scot-free, out of, out of their contracts, free to do whatever they want. So this tweet from Slasher here says, Sources, Facebook offered an insane offer at almost doubled the original Mixer contract of Ninja and Shroud, but loaded Ninja and Shroud said no and forced Mixer to buy them out. Ninja made $30 million from Mixer and Shroud Shroud made 10 million. Ninja and Shroud are now free agents. I mean, there's no way this could have gone any better for Shroud and Ninja. It just couldn't have. This is just the perfect scenario for them. So Ninja moved over to Mixer for just under 11 months. He was there for less than a year and he made $30 million off that contract. And now just less than a year later, he's contract free, able to do whatever he wants. He can go back to Twitch and pull what, 50 to 200,000 viewers again. So he just leaves the top of the streaming world for less than a year makes 30 million dollars and now he's free to come back and just gain back all the viewership he wants. He can just come back to the top and become the biggest streamer on Twitch all over again. And the thing is now that these companies are signing these streamers to contracts and throwing millions of dollars at them, there's a chance this time that Ninja's gonna come back to Twitch with a 200 million dollar contract. I mean he really couldn't be in a better position. Now Ninja's only put out one statement since this whole thing went down with Mixer and Facebook and it's this tweet right here where he says I love my community and what we build together on Mixer, I have some decisions to make and will be thinking about you all as I make them. Now there is some pretty good evidence so far that Ninja will be going back to Twitch which is the fact that he actually changed his bio on Twitch and his new bio on Twitch says Ninja streams Valorant and Fortnite. And I mean obviously why would he change that to his bio on Twitch if he wasn't moving back to Twitch? That would be kind of a weird thing to do. I can't really think of any reason why he would put that in his bio and then not stream on Twitch. But anyway, that's where I'm gonna wrap up this video. Don't forget to drop a like and and subscribe if you're brand new to the channel. As always, you can follow me on Twitter at RealXYT. And other than that, I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm out.